papers. I got mail. Move my papers. I got mail. So excited. Let's put this together and I'll share it with you Let's. what it is. So excited. Hey, 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 happy. Welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. So today, I wanna share with you some of our new home updates or finds or goodies and all that good stuff. I have a new dining table to share with you and some stools, so let's start. If you're new here, if you like these home decor hauls, all of that good stuff, make sure you do subscribe. I would love to have you here, and if you are subscribed, please make sure your bed notification is on. This is our brand new dining table here. We went with a glass. It was a fun way to add just a little bit of artwork or so since we don't have a formal dining here in our home yet. This is just a dining eating area, like a breakfast nook. So this was a perfect little opportunity to play around with a fun whimsical table. So it's a gold metal. Look at it, it is so pretty. And here is the glass. Look at the beautiful bevel edge on the glass. I love how it sparkles in the light. It's so pretty, yeah. So yep, I'm not doing anything. That's just how it's sparkling. This is how it looks. If you're looking through the table, isn't that beautiful? So. Um, we're in a small little eating area and I didn't want to take up and this was a great opportunity since our, we have to get a new table. Great way to open up the space with some glass so we can sit comfortable six people here. And I can even change my top out and put a circle top on. So I will be doing that at some point when I get me a 60 inch glass top. I'm so excited about it. So I will be able to change it up when I get bored and all that good stuff. So because the glass is just sitting on the base with some suction cups, we're allowed to just change it up and even if I want a piece of a wood top, I can do so much with it. I really, really love that idea as well. So when I get tired of a rectangular table, I can go square or wood. And, and look, it matched so well with my little base over there that I'm still working on, but look, it just ties all together. I love mixing metal, so this is a perfect opportunity. So let me share with you. I'm gonna set it for right now. It's a great way that I'll be mixing metals and putting silver and gold. This is how I'm gonna use these placemats that I got from Pier One. Unfortunately, they didn't have a multiple, they didn't have a three, I mean, they didn't have enough. So I ended up having to buy different ones at different times. I didn't realize I was buying different placemats because they look so similar, but they're all truly different. And I actually like that so much. So I'm gonna use these three placemats as a table runner. And so I've also purchased those from the table. I forgot to mention the table and the glass came from the at-home store. It was so reasonably priced. It was a steal, okay? I think the base is like $3.99 and the top is like $100 or something, $125. And these, look at this vase. I also purchased these. So cute. Look at the vase. It came out of Pier 1 and I love it. Let me show. These are flicker candles that also came out of Pier 1. You push the button and it flickers like real candles. I don't have to worry about um, the candle melting down on the glass. This is my first time ever having flickered candles and I love them. So I'm gonna find some and put more throughout the house that has better um, remotes. But look at that, I love it. It's so pretty at night with the ambiance and it's a, a real flickering. As it, and look at that, that looks so real. And if you're just sitting here at the table like I was last night, it was just flickering. Look at that. So, so happy about this. Now we're just on a hunt for chairs. The chairs that we wanted um, were from Z Gallery, but it was $350 just to ship it. So we're back to square one, trying to find some chairs. 
but look at the base on here that is absolutely beautiful and this is how I'm gonna mix metals okay look at the placemat oh, this is my favorite I really really wish I would have found more of these but there you have it so this is our dining table right there okay let me show you the other goodies that I have these bar stools I am so excited to have starting putting some bar stools look at them they were super easy to put together these were sent to me from promotion.com they are so cute they swivel they threw 360 swivel they're adjustable in height I'll insert a clip to show how easy these were put together in less than 10 minutes. Some people are good at putting things together, some people are not. That's why they come with instructions. And the first part about having instructions, getting a box full of stuff, is to always inventory your equipment. Hmm. Maybe that might be the army in me, but. That's the wedding you. Army in me. The army coming out. Army in me. Review, review time. Let's see what we can do. Got four. This is not metal. It is plastic. And it's silver. So, thank God this ain't from Ikea. Because <laughs> Ikea be having pages and pages and stuff <laughs> with no words on it. This is very simple though. It only has four screws, an Allen wrench, and this part right here. So, warning, please remove the cap before assembly. So, it's like the base. Pole, thing heavy. The ring goes here. And this goes. Like that. Now I'll take the foot, the butt piece. Four screws. Yep, for the feet, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So these are lock, lock nuts. As you can see, it has the riveted edge on the inside. So the reason why they didn't come with washers. And whenever you're putting in screws, people, always hand tighten your screw first which will stop you from cross-threading your screws. minutes to put these tools together and this is how it look it has a chrome base and see how I'm mixing metals even though this is chrome and I even have the chrome fixtures here in my um, kitchen and then I tied it back in with a gold table but having things like this it makes it 
so easy to mix metals. And let me share with you some of the other items that I've been playing around with to mix metals. So we're gonna push this back up. I'll have a link in the description box if you guys are interested and you need some inexpensive but some chic bar stools. They are a little um, narrow in the butt area. So if you're too, like have a huge behind, these may not be um, wide enough, but just for the average person to sit down, good view that um, chic look. And this is what I was doing, was playing around with them. These place settings, I already showed you guys these gold charger from Amazon. I just picked these chargers up as well from Pier 1. I like that they're simple. So when I'm tired of these, or if this is doing too much or I want to set my table, look at this. It's so beautiful. It's simple, but it gives you a lot of bang for your buck. I love it so much. Look at it. So this is another way that I'll be able to tie in the crones and the golds the pewters, you know, any type of metallics. This placemat right here. And even though these bar stools, I wish they were cream, but they're black and they still tie in with the countertops because they have specks of black. And so look, this is how I just went on and layered. So simple. I took this charger that, I, that came from Amazon, you know, the Z Gallery inspired charger. And then I took, this is how I'm bringing back in the chrome. Look at the plate. It has a chrome trim. And this also has the chrome there. So you see how that is tying all in? And look, I'm bringing the gold back with the bowl. Just like that, you know? Okay, so that's one idea. And then I'm just mixing and matching, just change it up a little bit. I changed the plate out over here. And then I actually put a gold little saucer that I had just to bring some more gold back. So mixing metals, I love that. And then look, I didn't have to remove my runner because these tie all in together. Even though I have the mixed metals, it all tie in together. With the cream, the gold, the silver, I think it's all so beautiful. And you can see how it's all tying in. This is in my kitchen. Yep, this is how my kitchen is turning out. Breakfast eating area, dining space. And then, okay, up with six of these from Pier 1. And of course, if you buy one, you get one half off. And then also got, I think they were on special or I have a military, I'm not sure. but. They were $20 and then you buy one, get one half off, and then they always run a different additional um, sales. And look, these are also some chargers that I've already had. Look at that. If I, if I, even if I set that here on any of the chargers, you know, that gold, or if I just put it on the table by itself. Let me see if I can see it. Look at that gold coming through. You see that? Oh my goodness. So I love to mix and match. I've already had these chargers from Germany, but look at how this look on that placemat. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. So I'm gonna go get a chair from outside and share and put one, I'm gonna cover it up and you can see what it look like with a chair because this table is not doing anything without a chair. So let me try to get a chair. to share with you really quickly how this would look I this is all I have around here of course you guys may or may not know our household items have not arrived yet but I just took a blanket that we had here in our patio chair just to give you an idea how it would look if we actually had a real chair here um, but hopefully we would either go with this 
gray -y color or a cream um, will be the color of choice for our dining table of chairs. We just have to find some that's reasonably priced. Hopefully that has a gold base like our table. Um, but that's been a real challenge trying to find some. Okay, let me share some of the candles I picked up from Home Goods, and I think one or two may have came from Marshalls as well. But I just wanted to give the Bath and Body Works candle a break and try something. So I'm burning um, chi or chai. Um, this one is sand and fog. It's okay. It's it's doing okay. It's not giving my Bath and Body Works vibe. But this one really smells like waffle pecan. The pumpkin pecan by DW Home. This one really smells good. I'm excited to start burning this one. It's mandarin and plus basil. I think I'm actually going to put that one out and start burning it here. Then I got like this Prosecco rose. I'm going to use this for our bedroom. It's a nice, light, fresh scent. I've been using this in our um, living room. There's nothing in there but some <laughs> floors. There's no seating or anything. Um, but this um, smells like a light vanilla. And then I burned this last night. Apple cider did really well. Um, I burned it for a little bit after dinner. So those are the um, items. I thought I had a green one, but I haven't located it. I'm not sure if it's still in the car. It was like a forest green evergreen i'm not sure if i got it or left it but these are the ones i picked up on this one is also a light nice burgundy i thought this would be really well it's a nice um um i'm getting like a marlow smell from it yeah but these are the candles that I picked up so in this haul we had some candles we had the placemats the beautiful bar stools thank you so very much from promotions.com from sending these out to me really really a great addition to our bar area here our countertop and I love to be able to style and be able to place these here I'm not sure if I'll leave them out but for now they look so beautiful sitting here style with the stools and I am so so excited oh and here's another one apple pumpkin is what I'm burning I sat here this morning had a cup of coffee and I used my little coaster for my little coffee cup look at it it just all oh, sparkles and blings and these when it was still dark outside these were reflecting and twinkling so beautiful I am so excited so here's again our breakfast dining table for now this is what we have I'm gonna be on a hunt to look for a glass top and all that good stuff in the future you know whenever I get bored of this shape I love that idea I'll be able to change it up but here you go here's an overview of all of the goodies here in our dining area stay tuned um, we're supposed to get in our household goods next week Fingers crossed that we get our household items because, you know, I have a Z Gallery mirror that I'm going to place back over here. Um, and I think that's pretty much it besides getting dining chairs. And we'll be done here at the kitchen and we'll move on to the other parts of the house. I still am loving my beautiful plant. I know I keep talking about it, but it's so beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything will be linked in the description box below if you guys are interested in any of these items. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for many more. Mwah. Bye for now.